Is God asking you to do something new, something that's way over your head and maybe you're going to look foolish doing it? Well, that's kind of been my summer in a nutshell. My name is Leanne Friesman and this is Restoring Word. So many times God asks us to do things that just look impossible. I thought a lot about that this summer when I was learning how to sail my Catalina 25 and I've been using illustrations from the boat to empower believers. And this week I, I want to talk about your source of power. And really, your source of power in ministry and in life is your prayer life. I want to read a scripture for you to do. Uh, this is uh, today, sorry. This is Romans 8, 26. Um, in the same way, the Spirit also helps our weaknesses, for we don't know how to pray as we should. But the Spirit intercedes for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. When we pray in our prayer language and we talk to God about everything, that's where power comes from. Power to overcome adversity, power to overcome difficulty, power to do something that's just impossible. And God is really good at asking us to do things that we have no idea how we're going to do it. But in that moment of adversity, you find him. This summer, I, I was taking the sailboat out, and I can't tell you on how many occasions I look like a total idiot. Honestly. There was a time we went out, my son-in-law, and we were <laughs> bouncing all over the marina, and I'm just so afraid I'm going to hurt someone else's boat, or I'm going to hurt the boat, or we're going to destroy somebody else's, or the boat itself is going to get hurt. And I'm thinking, why can't we straighten this boat out? And the problem was we had two things that were trying to steer the boat going at the same time. We had a motor that wasn't dead straight on, forward and we had a rudder that we couldn't figure out how to use and here's what I learned the hard way you cannot steer a boat unless you're moving you can't use that rudder that big rudder that hangs down below the boat that's almost three feet below the back of the transom or the back of the boat doesn't work unless you're going forward that's how God uses us in the kingdom there are things in the kingdom you have to do while you're moving forward. Yeah, you're going to have to adjust the motor because you've got two sources of direction here. Okay? You get direction from the Holy Spirit in your prayer life. But in that moment, you can, you can physically lead and guide the way in which you go by adjusting the rudder. For me, I have to pick a goal. I have to look at something on the horizon and I have to keep the front of that boat going in that direction while I'm adjusting the sails. You know, in ministry and in life, guess what? We get to adjust multiple things at the same time. We're always multitasking. It's not easy. You're juggling several things all at the same time. And guess what? Especially if you're stepping out and you're doing something that's over your head and it's more difficult than what you could ever imagine. Generally, that's where you need God. I've always said, if God doesn't ask you to do something that scares you, it's probably not Him. Because when He speaks to you about doing something, it's generally, in the natural, it looks kind of impossible. You just don't know how. Man, I can't tell you how many times we bumped the boat up against a dock or we were, you know, trying to figure out or we're, how to get it out of a spin or we couldn't figure out, okay, well, we're using the front sail and we got the rudder going the right way, but why is the boat not moving? Why can't we get this boat to go forward? Well, you've got to adjust multiple things at the same time. Number one, you've got to use that motor and direct the motor and adjust the motor. And at times, yes, on a sailboat, your prayer, that boat will power, the, the motor will power the boat. So many times in prayer, that's, you know, that's where the momentum comes from, is what you do in the dark, what you do in the quiet place, what you do where nobody sees you. The rudder helps adjust the direction 
once that motor is off. Once you're under the power of the wind and you turn the motor off, that's the best part. Because at that point, you're dependent on the rudder. And yes, you can adjust it as you go. The Lord wants to lead and guide all of us. But you know, so many times we're going to be led and we're going to be guided to do things that are kind of scary. Another scripture for you today is from Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. And I've used this scripture before and I love it dearly. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. But in all your ways. That, that means everything. That means even when you're learning how to sail a sailboat and this is supposed to be fun. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And he will direct your path. He wants to be in every aspect of your life. He wants to flow out of you. He wants to flow from you. One of the reasons I love Reo, the name, it means to flow like water. We're to flow with him in our daily lives. We're to flow with him in what we say and what we speak and what we sing. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. So he's going to show you where to go. But guess what? A lot of times in that path, a lot of times while you're seeking direction, you're not going to get that direction until you step out by faith and you move forward. I couldn't figure out why doesn't this rudder work? I'm adjusting the rudder. In fact, a lot of times I was over adjusting my rudder and I was looking pretty foolish. You can't adjust the rudder. You can't use the rudder unless you're moving forward. You can't a lot of times get direction from him unless you're going forward, unless you're doing something for him. You know, when I first started Kingdom Messengers um, and, I, and I was learning how to do these broadcasts, Lindsay and Bruce would say to us, don't wait until you know what you're doing to start. Just start. Because you'll learn while you're doing. Yeah, but I, I, I don't want to look bad. And it's going to be on YouTube. And everybody's going to see it. And I don't know how to edit. And I, my lighting's not good. And I don't know how to put the words here. You're going to come up with all kinds of excuses as to why you can't do something for him. And that's a lot of time just kind of there out, right? In reality, when you do something for God, you don't know what you're doing. You're going to look bad. You're going to look like a fool. But if you will trust him and just start, the momentum of moving forward will enable you to adjust the direction. You will get direction. You will get confirmation. You will be shown what you're supposed to do next. The power will come through your prayer life. No. Lean not on your own understanding. You're not going to know how to do it. You know, if you knew how to do it, would that be really glorifying God? Or just by doing it over and over again and doing it scared, doing it afraid, doing it intimidated, when you do it for him, you can trust him with all of your heart. You know, because the grace of God will empower you. I've got bumpers all over the sides of my boat. You know why? I need them. Because I bump into stuff. And his presence, his anointing while you're learning is grace. It's like those bumpers, man. Okay, here she goes again, looking like an idiot on the lake. She's hitting the dock again. Yeah, that's me. But I got bumpers up there. It's all right. I can afford another bumper. Whatever. And I've destroyed one this year. <laughs> you just keep going. The only way to learn to do this is do it. Do it afraid. Do it scared. Do it intimidated. Pray. And then once you're in it, adjust your sails and keep your focus. Know the direction that you're supposed to move and keep going. He wants to use you. 
He wants to use your voice in this season. He wants divine appointments for your life. He wants you to be at the right place at the right time with the right kind of connections that are going to open doors for your calling and your ministry. But you have to start somewhere. Start afraid. Start scared. Pray. He'll show you what to do. Thank you for listening. Please like and, and subscribe. I need more subscribers in order to, to grow the channel. And I'm, I'm asking you to help me with something really simple there. Thank you for listening and have a great day.